I lost a lot of hope when my skin used to look really bad and I didn't think there was any solutions out there. It wasn't until I got educated, it wasn't until I got personalized support, it wasn't until I started using Hey, it's Lance McGowan here, and today's topic is all about the Young Living Savvy Minerals makeup versus the doTERRA essential oils for skincare. And this is a topic that's near and dear to me because it may be hard to tell now, but I used to struggle a lot with my skin from blemishes to zits to breakouts to all types of stuff, and I had to get control of a few things. But when it comes to makeup, um, that's something that may be more of a sensitive topic for some if they're trying to cover up something from their skin. But the reality is that and this is you know again not very popular but makeup yes is great for getting all glammed up and maybe weddings and ceremonies and special events or going out and painting the town red and all that stuff but for me you know I'm always interested and this is obviously coming from a guy's perspective I like seeing natural beauty and healthy skin is beautiful skin and when it glows and radiates on its own I don't think makeup is needed at all and you know I've talked to estheticians and and they've basically said that makeup is really just a cover-up <laughs> right we want to get our skin healthy and we do that really from the inside out but I want to describe a little bit about Young Living Savvy Minerals line and then talk about some of the things that I use for my own skin and see if it can help you out as well all right so according to the website of Young Living you can feel confident without compromise with Savvy Minerals by Young Living and this mineral based makeup line combines premium formulas with pure ingredients so you can embrace your natural beauty without sacrificing your standards and with a variety of shades and colors you can find the perfect products to help you make your mark Savvy Minerals was founded by Melissa Poping and was later acquired by Young Living in 2016. And you know, I've done other videos on Lip Sense and some of their product lines with regards to makeup because that's stuff that Otera doesn't have. Um, but really, I want to talk about the importance of skin health because, yes, like I said, makeup and for women is a huge thing on YouTube as well. You probably see tons of makeup tutorials. I know estheticians, I know makeup artists here in Vegas. Um, and my thing is, like, if you're going to use makeup, you know, and it's for a special occasion or going, out or weddings or ceremonies or special events all that stuff at least try to focus on a green or natural one and not just by their marketing terms but really looking at the ingredients as well and you know that is another solution and I'll have a picture right here of actually Young Living's mineral line so you can check it out here um, but what I want to talk about is what I use in my morning and evening regimen for my face and I'm actually going to show you a picture real quick of what I used to look like before I started taking care of my skin health from the inside out and so here is a picture of me back in the day <laughs> when I used to be with my previous employer and very stressed out and not eating as well and not using essential oils for my skin and so as you can see it's not very pretty um, lots of breakouts lots of stuff going on inside the body that's coming outside I do have a video on face reflexology that you should definitely check out because um, that's going to talk about basically our skin's talking to us. And so my morning regimen and the reasons why I use each thing is pretty simple. It's like a four-step process. So after I take a shower and you know my pores are already open, I use a fractionated coconut oil from doTERRA and this helps to moisturize my skin, reduce the chance of irritation, as well as cover larger surfaces area of my body. And some people are like, well can't you use organic and raw coconut oil? And I do for the rest of my body, but for my face I use that because it's non-greasy, there's no smell, and it's just really easy to apply. And that's kind of like a primer or base coat if you want to call it that before I put my essential oils on. Alright, so the first one I use is lavender very calming, very soothing, and I'm also going to get some aromatherapy with all these solutions as well. And I just put one drop in the palms of my hand and I rub that all over my head, face, you know, back of the neck, all that good stuff. And so this is going to also help calm, soothe, any irritation, any, you know, anything that's going on. That's amazing. So that's great. Then I use lemon. Lemon is a great exfoliator and also helps to promote red and white blood cell formation and so you're helping your body on a very cellular level on top of you know if you think about you know you look at a lemon or you look at an orange or any citrus fruits nature's telling us and giving us a hint as to which body part it can help us out with and if you look at one you see that there's little tiny pores on that particular lemon and guess what it's great for your skin and so a lot of antioxidants in here as well so that's what's going to help too and then we look at peppermint Peppermint is what I also put, so I'm just putting a drop of each one of these in my palms of my hands and then rubbing on my head and face and behind the ears, even, you know, on the inside of the ears, not in the canal, but on the insides, 
because um, there's some ear ref reflexology as well. I have a video on that too. <laughs> I put peppermint because it's very cooling, right? Um, it's going to help promote a healthy inflammatory response and it's really going to help your skin and your pores as well because sometimes they get a little bumpy and this can help with that as well. And then lastly, I use tea tree oil or melaleuca and this is going to help you know, take care of those bad guys hiding in the pores because the you know three major causes of acne are the harmful microorganisms living inside your pores and they multiply with excess oil because that's their food source and dead skin and so if we can take care of the dead skin you know lemon oil boom if we can take care of the bad guys boom and then the only thing that's left is excess oil but if our body is properly moisturized you know, it kind of sounds counterintuitive. I'm putting oil on my face and head so that I can have less oil produced by my face and head. Yes, it's true because if you're being properly moisturized, then your body doesn't need to produce or even overproduce the oil, which is the food source for the bad guys. But they're all being taken care of, all three of those things, when you use all these solutions. And then you're also getting aromatherapy. And then you're also getting ear reflexology, face reflexology. Right? And so you're getting, oh, and you're also, because you're applying on your hands, you're getting hand reflexology. So you're getting your whole body taken care of by just taking care of your face morning and night. And I notice when I don't do my morning and night regimen, I start to see like little bumps pop up on my face. They're kind of like, because you have like 20,000 pores on your face. So if you're not taking care of your face and head, then basically one of those pores is like, oh, you know, the bad guy's in there like, oh, the defenses are down let's come out to play and let's feast you know and so we got to take care of it and maintain because this is why you know you've seen my other videos what we do to get well we got to do to stay well it's not you know I, I shouldn't be applying all this stuff when I'm at my lowest point although I can it'll certainly help but all these natural solutions are gonna help most when I start to reduce my stress and so that's one reason why I also created my book which is called the 30-day guide to reducing stress at work because uh, when you saw that picture earlier, or I'll show it again right here, boom. See that picture is when I was really stressed at work. And stress has you overproduce oil on your face. Um, it causes a lot of cortisol release, which is the fight or flight hormone. It imbalances your hormone of stress. I mean, stress is great when you're running from a tiger and your life is in danger, but not on a daily basis due to relationships or work-related stuff. Or, and so it's so important whether you work from home or work in an office or work you know, in a warehouse or a manufacturing facility or wherever that we're taking care of stress because that's going to be huge with regards to our skin health. So let's get to the root cause of the stress, right? Let's, let's get the right emotional intelligence, right? mindset. Let's use essential oils, fractionated coconut oil to take care of the root causes of, you know, acne and other things. Um, and also if you have anti-aging goals or, you know, having more youthful skin, these oils can certainly help as well. There's other ones that I talk about in my other videos too that you can specifically use, but basically you're going to want oils with antioxidants in them because that's going to combat or that's going to help reduce the amount of the free radical damage that we get from the sun, that we get from what we eat, from normal daily processes. And so we can't, you know, I mean, you can't necessarily turn back the time, but you can slow down a you know time's effect on your skin and really and really help it in that way. Also, some other things to keep in mind with skin is like how much sun exposure you're getting. Um, I do have a natural sun spray and natural sun solution for you whenever you go out and you spend more than 15 to 20 minutes out there because that prematurely ages you, which is the sun. Um, so we want to think about that, what foods you're eating. So um, I do talk a lot about that. You want to focus more on a whole food, plant-based lifestyle, at least 95% or more plant-based according to the China study to reduce risk of cardiovascular or heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune disease, but also to help you look younger from the inside and out. And I also have a webinar called the Forever Young webinar, which I'll have below as well, so you can check that out and really get a lot of good anti-aging tips and get to the root cause of things, because it's not just covering up with makeup. And again, you know, I'm not anti-makeup, I'm just saying like if you're going to use makeup, hey, let's focus on a natural green one and not just for marketing terms that they have on the, the, the outside of it or mineral base, but really focus on the ingredients. Um, but that should be secondary or even a third option to taking care of your actual inside health, your digestion health, as well as your day-to-day -day facial regimen with natural products that help get to the root cause of your anti-aging goals or your you know pimples, blemishes, and breakouts reduction. And so that's going to be priority number one is getting healthy glowing radiant skin that looks youthful right then 
maybe focusing on what we eat and our stress levels, and then I would say makeup and if you can't take care of those. And some people, you know, you, you may not agree with that priority list or other things, but again, this is coming from a guy's perspective. I like seeing the real, natural, beautiful you, and I believe it's possible for anyone. I lost a lot of hope when my skin used to look really bad, and I didn't think there was any solutions out there. It wasn't until I got educated, it wasn't until I got personalized support, it wasn't until I started using essential oils, taking care of my stress, eating way better, drinking, hydrating, um, exercising as well, producing endorphins, you know, sweating out all those toxins. Like there's so many solutions that when combined together, they're very synergistic and they work way better than just covering things up. And so that's that's my hope is that, you know, again, to summarize everything. Let's take care of the root causes of, of what our skin's going through so that you can have more youthful and clearer skin and then focus on stuff that's green to maybe enhance or if you have to cover up something, at least let it be green, but really there shouldn't be any cover up. It should be just enhancing what's already being naturally and healthily shown through your skin because your skin is talking to you. Are you listening, right? If I get a little blemish here or break out there or some or some redness or irritation somewhere, my body's talking to me and saying, hey, I need your help. I, there's an organ, there's a body system out of whack here. Um, let's let's take care of it and it's up to me to have the right information and the right natural solutions to not only listen to my body and see what's going on but take care of it in a way that is sustainable and actually gets to the root of everything I guess you can probably hear a pattern by now right okay well that's it for today's video hopefully that's helped you out um, if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit the like button hit subscribe for future video updates and most importantly check out the links in the description below so that you can help reach your goals whether it's clearer more youthful, more glowing and radiant skin, or if you just want to get more information, or if you want natural solutions or whatever it is, all the information will be in the links below. Make sure to check those out, and we'll see you in the next video.